Hi, this is Joachim for statisticalprogramming.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to handle an A values in R. So for the video I'm going to use the air quality data set which we can load with this line of code. So let's run the code and uh, after running the code you can see that the air quality data set appears on the top right of your R studio. We can also have a look at the data and as you can see the data contains 153 rows and several columns which contain information about the quality of the air such as the ozone value, uh, the wind, the temperature and so on. What you can also see here is that some of these columns contain an A values such as the first column and the second column. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with these values in R. So the first thing I want to show you is how to identify missing values, how to find missing values in your data. And a function that can be used for that is the is.na function. And uh, you can use the function simply by typing isNA and inserting the name of your data set, in this case, air quality, into the function. So let's run this code and uh, as you can see the function returns a matrix of logical values, so a matrix of false and true. And at each position where the matrix contains the value true, we have a missing value, we have an NA value. So the question now might be how many missing values do we have in our data set? How many NA values does our air quality data set contain? And uh, we can count the number of missing values um, again with the isNA function, but in this case um, we combine the isNA function with the sum function. So as you can see here the inner part of this line of code is exactly the same as before, but this time we combine it with the sum function. And if we run this whole line of code, you can see that the RStudio console returns the number 44. So now we know, okay, our air quality data set has 44 missing values. So what, what could we do now? So one thing we can do is we can just omit these missing values. And uh, a function that provides this option is the na omit function. Um, before I run the function, maybe let's have a look at the data again. So as you have seen already before, um, in row 5 we have missing values, in row 6 we have missing values, in row 10 we have missing values and so on. So now let's apply the na omit function. And now you can see that all the rows where we had an NA value before are deleted from our data set. So the row 5, the row 6, the row 10, the row 11 and so on were just deleted from our data set. So the um, data set that is returned is a complete data set. Uh, this method is also called complete cases analysis or listwise deletion that has a lot of pros and cons, which I'm explaining in more detail in a tutorial that I have recently published on my homepage, statistical-programming.com. Um, but this goes beyond this video, so I will just put a link into the description of this video, which you could check out if you are interested. So the next thing I wanted to show you is how to remove missing values when analyzing your data. So let's assume you want to know the mean value of the column or zone. And usually we would just use the mean function and insert the column into this function for which we want to know the mean. But as you can see, um, if we apply the mean function as usually, the RStudio console returns NA. And this is because in our column we have NA values. So a simple trick that we can do in order to calculate the mean value is to write NARM, which means NA remove, 
equal to true within the function. And now you can see when we run, when we run this line again, um, the function returns us the value 42, which is the mean value of the ozone column without considering the missing values. Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video in order to give you a good start with your missing values and, and in order to show you some basics how to handle missing values in R. However, of course, there are much more functions and much more ways to deal with missing values. And recently I have published several other videos on my YouTube channel about the handling of missing data. So check out my YouTube channel if you want to know more about that. And also I have recently published several tutorials on my homepage, statistical-programming.com um, that are explaining the functions that I have used in this tutorial. And I will also put links to these tutorials into the description of the video. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and uh, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then see you next time for more basic R tutorials.